Hallelujah. I was, I was listening to that before you came to church. I said, that's, that's good to start off with. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, today we're going to talk about finishing strong with God. Finishing strong with the Word. Somebody say, I got to finish strong. Amen. And I think I have some guys there. I don't know who's going to be. Who's going to reach first? But somebody say, I got to finish strong. I can't hear. Somebody say, I got to finish strong with the Word. Yes. Hallelujah. So let's bow our hearts as we pray. Father, we thank you for this awesome time in your presence. In your presence there is a fullness of joy. At your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. We come to bask in your pleasures. And so, Father, we just thank you for your word. on finishing strong in 2014 as we come to the last Sunday in the year. You've kept us thus far. You have preserved us thus far. And so the enemy threw everything you can throw at us. But, Father, I thank you. You kept you through the word at us. And you put your word in our mind and in our psyche to strengthen us. Somebody says, strengthen me by your word. And so, Father, now we're calling your angels of mercy. We're calling your angels of healing and restoration and deliverance. As we go into your word, we thank you, Father. We're going to catch something in your word. We're going to implement it in our lives, we pray. And somebody say, hallelujah. You know, since I came back from uh, Nigeria, the word is that we are building a nation. Amen. Uh, I can't hear somebody say we are building a nation. I want to say we are building church, but building a nation. Amen. It means that uh, as some will continue, some will drop up. We can be talking some kind of crazy stuff and putting some demands on you. Somebody say, uh huh. Uh, yeah, you know, you're not letting do the man's part. Somebody say demands. Amen. And someone's got to step on up and come on up closer. Amen. And start functioning. Amen. I can't hear nobody. I'm going to talk to you. Amen. So nation, I mean, the spirit of excellence that the people portrayed and how the people move together and how they solve problems, critical problems, without the pastor being in the midst, uh, uh, the man of God, he be praying and fasting, ready for this great uh, movement, and they solve problems and they just move on. Somebody say, uh-huh. They, they, they respected protocol and they know who is the last, who has the last say among us. Somebody said, mm hmm and so I, I admire that. Amen? And we're going to try to implement it. Amen? Somebody said we're going to try. Nobody said nothing. Somebody said we're going to try. Somebody said, Pastor, try. At least try. Hallelujah. Amen. Nation. Amen? But the word of God we're talking about today is ending strong with the word. Somebody said, I got to end the strong with the word. And I believe that um, some of you, the enemy, threw everything at you. And you understand so that he can stop you from falling hard after God. And so you got slowed down and a little myandered, but you're still standing. Tell your neighbor and say, I'm still standing. Some of you through sickness, disease, and infirmity at you. Some of you shook up your job a little bit, shook up, and some of you shook up your family a little bit, but you say, I'm gonna process it. Uh, somebody say, uh-huh. Somebody say, I believe God, I believe his word. And once we believe God's word, and we believe God, his word, and God, they are one. And we believe that what God can do, his word can do. Somebody say hallelujah. Tell somebody, I'm not going to give up now. Oh, yeah, we can't give up. We can't give up. And we can't play half for church. We got to play full church. Somebody say, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody say, full church, full church. Because when you play, when you when you are doing full church, you're gonna get the full benefit. Ah, come on, somebody say I want a full benefit. <laughs> now yeah, yeah, I feel God early. Somebody say hallelujah. So therefore, God wants us to end strong with His word in John one and verse five. Let's read it together. It says, "In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God." Let's read it together. In in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. Uh-huh. Next slide. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. And the word was made by flesh. And dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory of the only begotten Son, 
of the Father, full of grace and truth. Somebody say hallelujah. The word became flesh. You know, we are in the Christmas season still. Uh, it's a Christmas last about 12 days. And so therefore the word, somebody say the word, became flesh. He became incarnate. Jesus became incarnate, put on the robe of flesh so that he can come down to be with us. And Jesus, he is our gift. Somebody say, Jesus is my gift. He is the gift to redeem mankind. Somebody touch us something. He is my gift to redeem me. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. You know, I thought I was a nice guy. My mom and my dad, they were pastors. And I, I, I was still born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Somebody said, aha, the brush of Adam came on me. So I got to come and repent to somebody say, hallelujah. And so those of you who mom and dad and grandpa and grandma are saved, you got to come to Jesus for yourself. Can we say, come to Jesus for yourself? So the word, this is powerful stuff. The word became what? flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory and so therefore those people who saw him you know, Peter, James and John they beheld his glory but therefore we now when we read God's word we are still beholding the glory in the word of God that somebody said there is glory in the word of God. It means then that there is a weight in the word of God. There is a way to deliver you from whatever mess that you are in or whatever you are going through. Somebody say uh huh no saint should be going to with their, their head like a smashed egg. No way. No saint of God should be going through life. No matter what come at you, should be going through like your, your head is all adult. Oh, somebody said, uh -huh, like eggnog. Somebody said, no, 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 no. Somebody said, Baba, eggnog spirit. Because the word, somebody said, the word became flesh. Uh, and, and dwell among us, uh, and the word is still dwelling among us. Uh, when we read the word of God, it's dwelling among us, and it still has the power to deliver you from whatever situation you're going through. To. Somebody say hallelujah. But you gotta believe the word of God going into it, and you gotta believe the word of God coming out of it. I can't hear the word of God, the people up in here. You gotta get God's word going in. Somebody say, uh-huh. If you want success, get God's word going into success. And it will bring balance to you. Somebody say, uh-huh. Oh, I can't hear the hacks up in here. In your healing, you need the word of God going in. Uh, any situation that you're going in, you need to put the word of God and apply God's word to it. Somebody say, hallelujah. As we make plans to go into 2015, I tell you, get you a diary and put at least a scripture. I said, this is a scripture that I'm believing for you. Somebody say, hallelujah. You see, there's some people go through cycles every year. And August, a cycle. January, a cycle. Some kind of cycle. But you can say, I'm not going to go through this cycle anymore. I can't hear the house up in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, your wife acting funny, husband acting funny, children acting funny, and you can just do chart it. Somebody need to do a little chart to see what's happening in your life. A chart. And when, when you see the chart, uh -huh, ain't gonna happen no more in my life today. Oh, watch some people, watch some people. You see somebody on a little chart when they go to university in the Virgin Islands and when they go to grade 12, but you gotta put a chart in your life. See what's happening. May God when He's blessing you and see when the when the one wants to curse you. We come and see when things want to bring confusion in your life. Look at it and say, not another year like this. Oh my god, I'm preaching now. We're 2015 already. Somebody said, not another year. Like this. Somebody said, hallelujah. Because the word, why? Because the word became what? Flesh and dwelt among us. And so therefore we don't preach a baby in the rocker in a manger. This this baby grew up, hallelujah, and he has become my deliverer. I can't hear you. My sanctifier, my redeemer, the one who purchased me with his own blood from death, hell, and the grave. Somebody say hallelujah. That's a good place to put your hands Some Praise God. Somebody say hallelujah. And so the incarnate one, well, that's where we get incarnation. Incarnation that Jesus existed before with the Father. Somebody said, uh -huh. because Adam and Eve messed up, but Jesus couldn't just relax up in heaven with his Father. His Father said, who will go to redeem mankind? And they said, I will go. And then Jesus became the second Adam. The first Adam messed up and sinned and caused a curse of sin to be in the earth. And then the second Adam came to redeem you. Somebody said, I love that second Adam. 
and his name is who? Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sin. His people. You are God's people. You are Jesus' people. Somebody say hallelujah. And so therefore, the next slide tells us about the word. The word of God is a pre is a pre-existing word. The word of God pre-existed before this world came into existence, before your mama and your dad sperm came together to produce you. The word existed before. Somebody said, I'm serving a God that has the power to create. Somebody say hallelujah. The God has lost the power to create. I, I can't hear you. Somebody say, uh-huh. And the other day I heard somebody dumbing down faith and dumbing down the power to create. But the power of faith is in you. The force of faith is in you. Come on, somebody say the force of faith is in me. Oh yeah, you, the Bible tells me the force of faith is in me. Why? Because it's whatsoever things you desire when you pray. That's the force of faith on the inside. I feel God early. Inside of him. Come on, somebody said that's the force. Whatsoever things you desire when you pray, and you see what happened, we are co-creators with God. Somebody said, I am a co-creator with God. Somebody said, uh -huh. God entrusts you and I to be a part of his family business on earth. He, he created the earth, put the rocks in there, the trees in there, and then he said, do something with the rocks and the trees. Make the earth better. Woo, somebody said, uh -huh. but the other guy who had nothing to about creating the earth, he wanted to pervert the earth. But we got to keep him at bay. Hearing the people up in here. Somebody said, I'm co creator. Can you say, co creator? That's why families are powerful because God will create the male and the female, and the male has to go look for the female so that he can co create with God and produce something that was never been yet produced on the earth. And that's why we got to bless our children, put out of our children that curse our children. Families are powerful. I can't hear the house up in here because when you get a son or a daughter, what happened? You're producing godly seed in the kingdom of God to dominate and to keep the enemy at bay. That's ruling like God will rule. I hear the folks up in here. I can't hear the preacher. I, I, I'm, I'm ready. I got my PowerPoint ready. So I'm going to be sleepy and, and dreamy like some of you. I'm ready. I'm always ready. Somebody say, uh -huh. Woo! Somebody say, Hallelujah. Which answer can I come and say, Pastor is ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to rumble. So wake up halfway. And it says that so the word of God is the existing world. It existed before the earth. It existed before you came on the scene. It existed before your papa and your mama came together. And I love that. Somebody said, uh-huh. So therefore, when anything happens to me, I run to the world and say, this is the pre-existing world that existed before I came on the scene. And you know why I love the word? Because if the, when someone um, uh, confessed the word, professed the word, uh, God watched over it to perform the word before. He said, man, I did that before. Somebody was crying out before. The children of Israel were crying out before. And they were saying, hey, we are hungry. In the desert, when they cried, man, I came. Can I hear the house up in here? Ah, somebody said, hallelujah. Somebody said, thank God for the pre-existent word. I mean, Jesus, he existed before. Ah, somebody said, hallelujah. So he can do it. Somebody said, he can do it. So whatever you're going through too, just call upon him, find the word, and it will happen. Somebody says, time for God to work. The word of God is a personal word. It's a personal word to me. So that's why we read the word of God, study the word of God, meditate on the word of God. Um, we'll do like the cow, we chew the word of God, and the, the cow has what they call a, a, a rudiment, I believe, and they will chew the cow, and uh, chew the cow, and will go down into one part of the belly, and they will bring it up again, and they will chew it again, getting everything out of it. Somebody say, ah, oh, the green, they can get out of it, so that they can produce white milk. Somebody said, uh huh. So it is we gotta chew that word. We gotta love the word. Our young people gonna love the word. You see, young people, when you love the word, the word will take you from where you are, your appearance, and take you into, into stratosphere. I don't. Oh, somebody said, uh huh. It take you into invention, creativity. You see, because the creative process is in you. And I, I don't believe that the people of the world should beat us. Ah, come on. I can't hear the house up in here. Oh, yeah, because the creative ability is somebody say hallelujah. 
So the word of God is a personal word to us. The word of God is personal to you. It will talk with you. Uh, it will crush things in you. It will, it will divide spirit and soul. And uh, it will say, soul, watch out. The spirit man wants this. And he said, aha, uh -huh. the spirit man wants to see God. So you better be quiet to quiet the soul. We fast and pray. So the soul is not going to boom, shut your mouth up. Boom, so we can get the power of God. Ay, 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 ay. It's Christmas, I talk about fasting. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. The word of God is creative. Somebody say the word of God is creative. Somebody say let the word of God create something fresh inside of me, something new inside of me. Ah, oh, somebody say hallelujah. Man, I tell you, when we have to understand the explosive, creative ability and supernatural ability of God's word, we will stop walking with our head down. We'll walk with our head up. Somebody say hallelujah. The word of God is life given. That's why we are saved. That's why we are alive. When we go out to the word, the word of God, it gives us life. Somebody show us that there's life in the word of God. When we feel like death is coming to us, we go into the word of God and life comes. Somebody say hallelujah. And the word of God, the next one is life given or light given. Somebody say the word of God is what gives me light. It illuminates my path. Uh, somebody say hallelujah. Woo, somebody say hallelujah. When we go into the dark road, um, the old people say the giddy road of destruction, the light of God shines. I said, mm -hmm. it's time to stop and turn around. Somebody say hallelujah. The word of God shed light on our path. The word of God has the power to illuminate your life. God, he says uh, that we are the light of the world. That is the, the word inside of us brings light out. Somebody say, huh, you can just walk down the road and people say, hey, you are the one. You're a preacher. Hey, you are saved. Give somebody a ride and say, what happened? You're a preacher. Because the light is inside of you. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. And so the word of God has power to save. Somebody say, thank God. Lift your hands and thank God. My God, we were messed up in sin. Some of you didn't want to see us in sin, messed up. Uh, you're in a drain, all drunk. We got our first paycheck and we just blow it with the guys. Go home to our wives, our girlfriend, empty pockets. And you know you're in the doghouse. Somebody said, mm -hmm. Somebody said, thank God. For the power to save, put, put us in our right mind, give us wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Oh, somebody say, Hallelujah! Somebody said, There is power to save. The word of God is incarnate, is the incarnate God. The word, the word can do what God can do. Somebody said, The word can do what God can do. Come on, somebody lift up the word if you got it. Just a little bit, say, The word, the word of God can do. The word of God can do what God can do. That's why you're going to read the word of God. You're either in or out. I think the word of God said that I'm a success. No dumb preacher who want a success. Let them go off the TV. Don't say them are dying. But the word of God tells me that God wants me to prosper. He wants me to be in health. Even as my soul prosper. Somebody say hallelujah. So I need my mind, my will, and my emotion to prosper. The reason why saints are not prospering because the enemy attacks us in our emotions. And then our emotion takes a dive and we can't think, we can't process, we can't create and co-create co with God. Oh, somebody said, uh -huh. the word, somebody said the word. Can do what God can do. The word, the word, the word that became flesh and dwelt among us. Now we have the written word. The written word can do what God can do. And so if you want a revival, if you want God to move in your life, you crack the book, open the word, and God will move for you. Somebody say, hallelujah. If you rely on his word, you are relying on God. You say, God, I have nowhere else to turn. And my, all my springs are in you. Can we all say that? Say, all my springs are in you. Come on, not my boss, not my husband, not my wife. Oh, somebody say, oh, my springs are in you. Somebody say, hallelujah. You're talking about ending strong, finishing strong with the word. And we, we look that we've been beaten and battered and the enemy wants us to throw in that towel. But somebody say, thank God. I made it to the last Sunday in the year. And I'm still standing. I'm still standing. I'm still worshiping. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. 
So Jesus Christ is our great high priest. And so it says in Hebrews 4, 14 and 16, can you see, read with me what it says? Seen then, like thunder, like thunder, everybody. Seen then, that we have a great high priest. Somebody say, a great high priest. That has what passed through the heavens. He has passed through the heavens, the different stratosphere, the different heavens. Okay, uh -huh, go ahead. He has passed through principalities and powers just for you. He has passed through the heaven. Jesus, the Son of God, let us what? Hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness, but was in all points tempted as we are. Yet without sin. That's a good person to walk with. That's a good person to be in their company. Oh, come on. Somebody said Jesus. A good person to be in company. I said Jesus. Jesus. Walk with me. He says, let us therefore come boldly. Next slide. To the throne of grace. Come boldly. That we may obtain what? Mercy. Come on. Somebody say mercy. And find grace to help in time of me. He's like the referee. The enemy comes in to knock you out, to, to bruise up your eyes and everything, and you are down. And everybody say, Ah, he's down. Mr. John is down. Mr. John is down. But 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 here is God saying, I have mercy. People got you on the eight count, but I'm, I, I am not counting you out. I'm picking you up and dusting you up so you can go again. Oh, somebody say holiday. Somebody say gonna end strong. Now come on, tell the, the enemy that threw everything at you and said, I'm going to end strong. And I'm going to end this year laughing even the enemy doesn't want me to laugh. Somebody say, uh-huh. Yeah, come on, put your hands together. Help. Somebody say, help. We got help. In time of need. We looked at the word confession means to say the same thing or to affirm. Somebody say, I'm going to say the same thing that God is saying about me. Somebody said, uh -huh. he didn't say, you're going to have the last lap. Not only the last lap, but we're going to put in, you're going to have the last lap. I can't hear that. I wish I had a running safe right about now. Last lap. Somebody said, hallelujah. He wants to pull you down, get you down. I want to know, my God, what am I paying tithes for? What am I coming to church for? What is this? What the hell am I doing up in here? But somebody said, I'm going to have the last lap. Because I believe God's word. Come on, somebody say, I believe God's word. Woo, somebody say, hallelujah. I believe God's word. I believe that he is my great high priest. Somebody say, hallelujah. And I'm going to say what he says. I'm going to affirm what he says about me. I'm not going to let nothing, nobody come into my life to distract me. Somebody say, hallelujah. You see, your confession is to say the same as the word of God says about you. So my God, I'm going to say the same. And when you say the same, God's going to move from where you are to where God wants you to be. And you're going to move into his glory. Somebody say, uh -huh. the word of God is in the final authority over your life right now. The profession means an act of declaration. What are you declaring out of your, your life? What are you declaring all over your life right now? Push for me and I. I want to give up. I want to give in. No. So I'm going to finish strong. Call your name and say, oh, well, Hazel, you're going to finish strong. Encourage yourself in the Lord. And so confession means to stand with. Sometimes I'm going to stand with God. I'm going to stand with his word. To be in agreement with God. I'm not going to be in a disagreement with God. I am going to be in agreement with him. Somebody say hallelujah. Touch yourself and say it's time for you to get in agreement with God. It's time for you to stand with God. It's time for you to stand in God's word and get the stuff from God's word. Somebody say hallelujah. I said, I have to get it. Somebody said, hallelujah. And so therefore we looked at, at finishing strong. Your confession is your profession. Profession means an act of declaration. In Hebrews 3 and verse 1 it says, we are for holy brethren. Somebody said, I'm holy. Partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession. Who is he? Jesus Christ. And the anointed and the anointed one. Somebody say hallelujah. You see, when I begin to confess the word and to profess the word, the great high priest began to arise. He begins to what? Arise. Come on. Everybody say arise. Can't hear. Somebody say arise, high priest. 
That's why we confess. You know, people dumbing down confession. But when you confess it, the high priest is a high priest. He is coming to defend you. He is coming to protect you. He is coming to bring the success to you. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together and say, come on, arise, high priest. Hallelujah. You're right. You're activating him. When you confess the word of God, when you profess the word of God, when you declare the word of God, what the word of God is to you, what happened is the high priest starts standing up. I tell you, and you become dangerous. Folks are messing with you, with Jesus behind you, with some big old cutlass ready to lynch them. Like a ninja turtle. I can't hear the house of India. Some big angels behind defending you. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody said, uh -huh. People are looking at you and they expect you to go down and you're in the dust and all you're seeing is dust flying behind you. And they say, My God, you can only see what's happening behind you. You got some big angels behind you. About three times taller than you are. I got a silver sword in their hand and fighting like the dickens for you. I can't hear the house up in here. Come on, somebody come on. See, that sister show I know this. She activated an angel. Woo! Somebody said, Hallelujah. Come on, somebody said, I'm activated by angel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Psalm 34 says that the angel of the Lord they encamp round about you to defend you, to protect you, and to deliver you. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Ah, yeah, yeah, I love that thing. In Hebrews 4, 14 tells us uh, that Jesus is our great high priest. Uh, he says, therefore, since we have a what? Everybody say what? A great high priest. Read it with me. Who has what? Ascended into heaven. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith that we, we profess. Hold fast your confession. It is upon your confession that it becomes our high priest. Somebody put up your hands up and say, I gotta hold fast to my confession. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. I got a guy here, a revelation about a guy with a baton. And when you hold fast to the, the profession of your faith and confession of your faith, can I have the baton being transferred from one hand to the next? Somebody say, uh huh. Ah, somebody say, uh huh. Come on, it's a purpose in my pictures, huh? All right, now we got it. Somebody say, we got it. So when you hold fast, to you the confession, he passes his baton unto you, the word. That's the baton is the word, and you'll be running with the word. Somebody say, uh -huh. And then you become one with the word. Somebody say, one with the word. Oh, yes, somebody say, hallelujah. Mm, every, G, every Christian, we need to become one with the word. Amen? Yeah, hallelujah. And so as we say, we're going to finish strong. And Jesus Christ he is. Uh, our intercessor, not only he is our high priest, not only he is our word, not only he is the incarnate one, not only he is the pre-existed one. I like the pre-existence. He pre-existed so he can help me out now. Somebody say hallelujah. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. So Jesus, he is our intercessor. Somebody say he is my intercessor. So the pastor is not calling your name. He is your reason. Somebody say, person, I say he is my intercessor. It says in Romans 8, 34, it says, uh, who also makes intercession, call your name for me. So when Jesus prays, nothing can go wrong in uh, my life. Come on, somebody say, when Jesus prays, somebody don't believe it, eh? When Jesus prays, nothing can go wrong in my life. Tell him praise that Jesus prayed for this matter. Come on, give Jesus some prayer requests. The thing with Christians is that we grumble and we mourn. We say, Oosh, oh, me and I, I am sick, sorry, and sorry across the preacher, because everybody. But don't let Jesus uh, pray for you. Let Jesus intercede for you. Give Jesus a prayer request so he can intercede for you. Oh, watch out, watch out. Someone else, uh -huh. And when we, when we begin to intercede, we're able to call him off when he's done with the case. Somebody say, uh -huh. Can you give people some bad stuff? It's like going up, bam, 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 and craziness. So call him and say, Jesus, enough is enough. Somebody say, uh huh. Oh, yes, and God, bad Islam will be the kingdom of God. Jesus, I come to your word. You are my great intercessor. I've been handling this thing all by myself. You see, some of your Christians are handling it all by yourself. When the word of God says, He is your what? Inter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them. Look at them now. Somebody got a penny today. Somebody say, He is. My intercessor. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna do this thing by myself. This morning, I'm not gonna do it by myself. 
I put it in, in the hand of Jesus. Jesus, you take this one and, and you intercede over it. Somebody say, uh huh. And you do what's best in this situation. Come on, somebody open your mouth and say, Jesus, you do what's best. Ah, uh, somebody say, hallelujah. So when he begins to intercede, somebody say, watch out. Nothing can go wrong. So as we cross over to finish strong, we say, Jesus, this is which one is yours? Come on, somebody say, Jesus? Jesus. Some of you were right, you can say, Jesus? This one is yours. I need a pay raise. This one is yours. I need a better job. This one is yours. I need to expand my business. This one is yours. I, I can't hear the house up in here. So I said, this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your wife ain't acting right. This one is yours. Husband acting right. So we ain't helping you talk. Hey, somebody said, huh? Somebody said, this one is yours. I, I, I fried all the cooking oil. And hit it, but I didn't use it. Somebody said, thank God. But somebody said, this one. I hear nobody. Somebody said, this one is yours. That's right. If I were you, I'll get me a Bible for the copy. I'll rip it out. Write the people a name right there. I, some of you have a lot of names to write. A lot of situation. I said, God, this, this, I know I understand. I'm going to keep on praying. But this one, I'm going to on you. You're in the seat for this one. Somebody say, uh huh. And every time it comes up in my mind, I'm going to do a little. Mm -hmm. oh. I just remember that you're in the seat for me. Somebody say, uh huh. It means that he's off my slate. <laughs> Somebody say, mm -hmm. it's going to come. It's going to come. Somebody says, it's going to come back. I got to give you a memory. But we're going to do it in the Negro spiritual. Mm -hmm. God, this one's for you. Oh, come on. Somebody say, uh huh. Because Jesus got it. Somebody said, Jesus got it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got it. Because the enemy, you see, if we don't give it to him, I tell you, man, you're going to mess us up. I mean, you stress us out, weary us out. When I see you next time, you're dragging, dragging, give it to Jesus. Oh, come on. Somebody said, come on. Somebody said, give it to Jesus for real. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love this. And then Jesus, he is our advocate. It tells us in 1 John 2 and verse 1, he says, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Somebody say, he is my advocate. You have a king's a counsel who has never lost a case. Somebody say, dude, you're going to give it to Jesus, so that's victory, and then you have the king's a counsel that never lost a case. You have the king's attorney that never lost a case. Somebody said, uh-huh. So you find it in the word, for the copy, write the stuff down there, and say, uh-huh, better than time. Give me my counsel. And I save all that money going to the, to the other guys. Can I take your money quickly? I know one guy, he, he gave them money, and again, this, this, this attorney is crazy, you know? They're crazy. Somebody said, hi. Uh, the attorney's here. No, they won't be listening to us. Yeah, but listen, I mean, I took the people money and they were trying the case. Uh, yeah. Because you know what happened? They have some companies that they buy all the attorneys. They send them a check every month. And uh, you want to come up against them? So the, the business are paying you at the year. They, they have their personal attorney. That's why they charge you so much for the prices. The, the prices are up. Can they pay all? They have to factor, factor in that's in the price. Pay off all the attorneys. And you can't find one to defend you. But you have to have a cousin. It's okay, because stop paying me now. I'm going to defend my cousin. Somebody say, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody you're looking for somebody to help you. You can't find help. No, no, I can't help you. And then you tell you, I can't help you, man. I can't help you. going to town, all town, to town. Looking for help, I can't help you. But somebody said, I got king's counsel. Uh, yeah, 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 I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Somebody said, Are you, you might not want you know, when you have problems, just write it down there. King's Council. I need your help right about now. Oh, somebody, I need some defense right now. I need some legal advice right now. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Help me, help me. Somebody said, Help me. Uh, you know, I heard um, um, Essiet, he was a judge, a pastor Essiet. And he said that, I mean, what this person did when they came before him, he, he already said, Is they had the sentence already set into the court, into the prison. But he said some people were praying, and the people were advocating on the person's behalf. He said when the person came to them, we sat down, he said, okay, case dismissed, you're free to go. He said when it's really looked, some people said, he was in church, he said, we were praying for that person, but we didn't tell you. 
And he being a man of God, God touches his heart and freely person. Somebody say, he is my advocate. Oh, somebody say, hallelujah. He what Luke 8 says, and 18 says, we will be like thunder, the spirit. The spirit, he what Jesus Christ said, what he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has what? Anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken and hearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Somebody should say he came to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. That is Orel's year of Jubilee. Somebody say, uh huh. Somebody said, this is my year. I'm ending this year strong. I can't hear somebody say, I'm ending this year strong. This is my year of jubilee. The next one, the next slide. Somebody said, this is my year of jubilee. The year of jubilee is the acceptable year of the Lord. It means that everything that the enemy had a lockdown, somebody said lockdown. Everything that he was stole, he had stolen from you. Everything that he has been devoured from you. Everything that the enemy has messed up. Listen, everything that you have lost, I can't hear you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything that the enemy came and knocked you down, and you think that you're down when you declare, This is my year of jubilee. The high priest, the great high priest, he arise to come to defend you. Somebody say, Hallelujah. And he said, Telling the devil, Give me back their spoil, give me back stuff. And he began to put things back in order. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on. Somebody say this is my year. I'm jubilee. I can't hear you. Somebody say jubilee. Jubilee. Everything that the enemy has stolen by false pretense, it's time to put it back. Somebody say hallelujah. It's like Lester Summerall, he knew about it, that he was in Manila in the Philippines and he was on a bed and the devil had the audacity to move his bed. Somebody say uh -huh. The devil moved his bed. Hallelujah. Somebody said, The devil moved the man bed. The man of God. The apostle of God. So he's all the way over here. Having a nice good sleep. Then, <laughs> so what this crap is this? Say, so, hey, okay. Devil, stop. Move my bed back, please. <laughs> Fix it right back. Somebody say, uh -huh. that's the revelation of that. Somebody say, uh -huh. somebody say, it's time to put my stuff back. Oh, uh, come on. Somebody say, put my stuff back. Put my stuff back. Give the money that I wasted. Put it back. Somebody say, uh-huh. Multiplication in my bank. So that people steal, stolen from me. I'm away. Somebody say, put it back. So people are saying the thing. Somebody say, put it back. Put it back. The 10% and 8% and 11%. To, Put it back. Ah, oh, somebody said hallelujah. Mm. Somebody said, this is my year of restoration. This is my year. We're going to restore everything back. Hallelujah. Before the year is over, it's coming to me either in the mail. Somebody going to call and say, come on, I'm going to money gold. Pay the penny. Somebody said hallelujah. Somebody said, I got to finish this year strong. In Proverbs 18, 21, it says what? Death and life are in the power of your tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. You got to love it. You got to love the word of God. You got to love confession, confessing God's word. If you, if you do not confess God's word rightly, you're going to get a negative effect. Somebody said, uh-huh. Somebody said, uh-huh. So if we want to eat the wonderful fruit of God's promise, we're going to watch what we are declaring. God said that he wanted to bless us and he wants to bless us abundantly. Somebody say, God bless me abundantly. Oh, yes. And so therefore, as we looked at, uh, in the beginning was the word. I'm closing up right now. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with who? God. And the same was in the beginning with God. And we said that the word pre-existed before we have existed. We are serving one who tested the word. So much the word is well tested. Oh, somebody say hallelujah. 
It was just uh, the, in the, the cave, in the lion's den. Somebody said, with who? With Daniel. It was tested that he delivered him from the boat of the hungry lions. It was one of God been tested with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fiery force. And the word, pre existed word, showed up uh, even in the fiery furnace. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Ah, somebody said, Hallelujah. And the word of God showed up again, hallelujah, in the wilderness, 40 years of wandering, the people wandering and crying and screaming, and the word showed up and manifested as a manner. What is it? The word came from heaven and fed the multitude. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody shouted and said the word is well tested. Tested during the eons of time. Tested. And so therefore we're going to hold fast to our profession. We're going to hold fast to our confession. We're going to believe God's word. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody say, I'm going to believe God's word. Christians, we got to arise and believe God's word. Believe what God's words uh, declare. And then we declare it. We become one with God's word and we receive the benefits from God's word. Come put your hands together and say it's about time. You see, our confession, the produce results, it says in Mark 1, 15, and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. He says, what? Well, repent and believe the gospel. Somebody say, repent and believe the gospel. So repent means to change your mind about something, change your direction. When we repent, we repent of our rebellion against God's word. Oh, somebody say, uh-huh, it's not the pastor. you got to believe God. God's word because when you believe God's word, the high priestess will arise. Somebody say, Arise to defend you, to bless you, to empower your life. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Oh, so stop fighting with demons and devils and come over so that, uh, that, that the great high priest can bless your life. Somebody say, Hallelujah. So that you can become a co creator with God. He created the world, put us in it, and we have to build it, make it better, put in the road so that I can drive, put in better buildings, and, and create different uh, scientific things and all that kind of stuff. That's what He wants us to do to make it better. Somebody say, Hallelujah. And so when we have a repentant heart, a repentant mind, God will bring new stuff to your mind. Somebody say, Hallelujah. When you are stressed out and weary, you cannot co-create with him. And that's why the enemy moves upon Christians to stress us out, to wear us out, so he can block out creativity from our minds and our hearts. Somebody say, aha. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But somebody say, I'm getting back my dream. One more time, somebody say, I'm getting back my big dream. And we have this guy finishing, and I'm finished, so put that guy up. As he comes to the finish line, he comes finishing and ending strong. Somebody say hallelujah. Let's all stand and get into the finishing strong position. I want you as my as your pastor to finish what? Strong. So come on, get in there finish strong. You don't want to be like the guy. Hallelujah. Say, God, I'm going to finish strong with your word. Get in the finish strong prophetic position. Come on. God, I'm going to finish what? With your word. In my meek and funny God, I'm going to work. Oh, somebody say, I'm going to finish strong. Whatever is acting funny in your life, just declare, God, I'm going to finish strong. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Because I know that you are my advocate. I understand you're you. Are, you are the pre existing one. I understand that you are, Hallelujah, my royal defender. Somebody say, Hallelujah. I understand now you are my intercessor, my personal intercessor. And my God, all this time I've been pulling ball and chain and bag and weight. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to get me a special Bible to write people's name down in it. And situation and say, God, I'm intercede for me for my business. Intercede for me for my dream and my goal. Intercede for me. Somebody say hallelujah. Oh, come on, put your hands together and bless God. Come on. Oh, Lord, thank you, Father, as we finish strong. And just say a prayer. It's a prayer. Lord, we thank you as we finish strong with the word. That from the incarnate word, the pre-existent word, the word that will intercede for us, the word that will defend us, the word that is our advocate, the word that we put our trust in us, and the word that we put our trust in. And so, Father, we thank you. We put our, our, our trust in the redemptive word. And so, Father, we thank you that you have redeemed us from the hand 
in the name of the enemy. We thank you, Father, that you, you have blessed us, you have protected us. Son. We have not into any accidents, we haven't gone into calamity. You kept us well. When we were sick, you healed us. And on this last uh, Sunday, we just uh, stand or sit and wave our hands and say, Father, we thank you. Somebody said, God, I thank you. Uh, one more time, I say, God, I thank you. Oh, yes, Lord God, don't let the high priest, uh, the great high priest, arise now and be activated in our mind and in our soul, in everything that concerns us. Lord God, let the high priest arise. Come on, somebody say, let the high priest arise in my situation. Let him begin to work for me and defend me. Let him not start out of defending me, succor me, surrounding me. Ah, somebody say hallelujah. And the high priest. Now, Father, we release your healing word, your healing potential. Your word declares that I am the Lord that heals. Call your name. And Father, we receive healing. We receive restoration in the name of Jesus. We speak to growth and return to go. We speak to sugar diabetes, go. We speak to spoil eyesight, we say go. In an eight, we speak to arthritis and we tell them to go. Because the high priest, he Hallelujah, he is living on the inside of me, working on the outside of me. And so, Father, we are holding fast to our profession and confession. We are saying what the Word of God says about us. And we are saying what God says about us. Somebody say hallelujah. And so, Father, I thank you. I thank you. We worship you. We thank you, Father. We thank you. We thank you. Now, if we finish, we will finish this year strong. And you're going to protect every one of us to see next year. In the name of Jesus. You're going to protect what belongs to us. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we are calling for, for restoration. Somebody say, restoration. I can hear restoration. This year, my year of ending this year. And I continue next year. As my year of jubilee. That everything the enemy walked upon, crushed upon, sent his demons upon, and it's good for me, right for me. I'm going to tell them to let go of it in the name of it is rightfully mine. Ah, oh, come on. Somebody say, I'm a covenant child. Oh, come on. You're acting like you want something. Somebody say, I am a covenant child. Oh, my God, and that, if it is good for me, it is good for you. So, therefore, in the name of Jesus, is mine. I claim it as mine. Come on, if you don't know what to say, I claim it as mine. I claim my money back. I claim my husband back. I claim my wife back. I claim my children back, my daughter back. I claim my household back in order. In the name of Jesus, I claim peace in my house, in the midst of chaos. In the name of Jesus, I declare and declare that my house shall be a house of oh God. Somebody say hallelujah. Woo! Somebody say hallelujah. With right standing. Somebody say right standing. With God. Somebody say hallelujah. Woo! Somebody say hallelujah. Well, put that. Give God a cup. Give God a cup. Amen. Amen. Oh, 